Good evening. Welcome to Bethany United Methodist Church, where we are leading people to experience God's love, to know Jesus Christ, and to grow in his image. My name is Sherry Clifton. I'm one of the pastors here at Bethany, and I'm delighted to welcome you to this time of worship. I want to encourage you to go to our church's website where you can find ways to stay connected to Bethany. You can find ways to register your attendance, to submit prayer requests so we can bring with you and for you, and ways that you can continue supporting Bethany with your financial gifts. I want to encourage you to remember the website's the best place for you to get updated information about what's happening here on campus and what's happening virtually as we continue in this season of pandemic. As we begin our worship tonight, I invite you to take a deep breath, to relax into God's spirit, to let your heart and mind be present with God as we worship together. Let us pray. Loving God, we pray that you would be present to us and with us and for us in this time of worship, that we might experience your love meeting us exactly where we are tonight, that we would be renewed by your spirit, that we would be comforted by your spirit, and that we would find the place of rest in your spirit tonight at the end of this day. We ask for you to bless us even as we seek to bless you In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Our scripture tonight comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 14. I invite you to listen with me for God's word. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. I'm going to read through this text again. I invite you, if you're comfortable doing so, I invite you to close your eyes and just listen. Listen for a word or a phrase or an image that speaks to you where you are right now, and hold on to that. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, 
praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. I'm going to read this text one more time. I invite you to hold on to whatever word or phrase or image came to you as you heard the text. And as you're able, I invite you to make a response to God. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. As we move into a time of prayer tonight, I invite you to pray wherever you are to pray out loud or silently, offering your heart to God, whatever it is that's on your heart and mind, knowing that God is with you, that God hears you, and that God is already at work responding to your cares, to your needs. So let us spend a few moments in prayer. Loving and holy God, we're grateful for this day. We're grateful for this time of worship when we can be still, when we can listen, when we can offer ourselves to you. As we come to you tonight, we pray that you would help us. You would help us in this season of waiting and watching, this season of anticipation for the celebration of the birth of Christ and the season when we remember that we are still waiting for Christ to return. Lord, we know that the angel told them not to be afraid. The angel told them that it was good news of great joy. And yet on these days, some days, we are afraid. We're afraid in the midst of all that is happening around us. We're afraid in the midst of all the uncertainty in the world and in our lives. We're worried and we're anxious. And yet, even in this season, a season of waiting, you invite us to wait and to watch. And you invite us to hear your words to us, reminding us that we don't have to be afraid in the waiting and the watching. Reminding us that Jesus 
is good news of great joy. And that Jesus is with us. With us in our worry and fear, with us in our uncertainty, with us in our waiting. In the chaos of the world around us, in the chaos of this season, we pray that you would help us to be still, help us to let your love quiet our hearts and our minds. Help us to find moments where your peace is tangible in our hearts and in our minds. Help us hold on to you, especially when things around us may seem to be unraveling. Help us hold on to you as as the one who is certain, the one who is steady, the one who is our rock and our redeemer, the one who is with us. Hear our prayers this day, the ones that we've named for ourselves, for healing and for hope, for wisdom and for courage, for joy and for peace, for love. Hear our prayers as we pray them in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As we come to the end of our time of worship together, I want to remind you to check the church's website for updated information about what is happening during Advent and Christmas, ways that you can be connected to us, ways that we can connect with you. It's always good to be in worship with you, even when we can't be in person together, knowing that God's Spirit is not bound by walls or by time or distance, that we can be together in God's spirit as we continue worshiping God together. As you go from this time, I pray that you would find rest in Christ tonight, that you would find peace in Christ tonight, that you would find a way to wait and to watch for the good news of great joy 
that is Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, our Messiah, who has come, who is coming, and who will come again. So as we go from this time, I invite you to go in the love of God and in the peace and the grace of Jesus Christ, the power and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen.